welcome back everybody to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's break down some college basketball picks for Thursday, January 26th, slate of games. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. Yes, guys, if you watched yesterday's video, you would know by now I'm on an emotional roller coaster mm -hmm. of betting on Louisville. They were up by double digits, and I said sprinkle that money line, and I was doing my little happy dance. And here we are midway through the second half, and they blew the lead, and it's now tied. So by the time you guys watch this video, you will know if I ended up crying or if I ended up doing my little victory lap. We will see, but I got Louisville plus 10.5. We'll see how that ends. Plus 10.5 for 10 minutes left, Trey. We got to believe in Louisville. But uh, I had Xavier tonight, plus 6.5 for UConn. It was a great game. Xavier got up really big, 18 points at half. UConn battled all the way back, but Xavier wins outright. Uh, my pick on here and free pick on our site. So double winner for me on that one at Xavier plus six and a half. Teets? Yeah, I got a, I got a, a loss that uh, honestly it hurt. And I, yeah. I kind of want to puke yep. just thinking about it. Up nine points. I had UNCA versus Presbyterian, which is a, a weird game to be talking about anyways. And I took the minus eight and a half for UNCA. They were up to nine with 12 seconds left in overtime, which is sad enough that they had to go to overtime against this team. Uh, and what happens? Oh, let's just ruin some people's spreads. Let's just hurt some people's pocketbooks. Presbyterian hits a three with 12 seconds left. Fouls Drew Pember to go from six to eight and then ends the game missing the last shot. So it's like... Yeah, let's let's put them back into it and see if we can foul them one more time. Nah, just kidding. We're just gonna we're gonna let you lose on the hook. Tough loss for teeth tonight, but uh, we're moving on to tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. I'm not salty. <laughs> Classic Presbyterian. I mean, that's what you get. I mean, they gotta they got God on their side, so it's hard to really you know bet against them. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna go with the Battle of L.A. I got UCLA and USC. If you guys watch our NBA game pick videos, I did the professional version of the Battle of L.A. two days ago with the Lakers versus Clippers, and I was on the right side of that, betting against my Lakers. So we'll see what happens in the college version of the Battle of L.A. Both these teams are very good, so I think it's going to be a very electric game to watch. Jaime Jaquez has been everything for UCLA this year. We all expected that. He's averaging 16.1 points per game at 7.2 rebounds. He's looking like an NBA caliber guy. Tiger Campbell, we all love this guy. His hair is crazy. He, you know, it's kind of like us on the park. You know, he's not the biggest guy, but he has a big heart. Um, he's averaging 13.8 points per game and 4.6 assists. So he's been a great ball distributor for UCLA. And then USC is highlighted by their dominant defense. They got some uh, good scores as well. Um, but they do have a great defense, top 10 in the country, a uh, shooting percentage wise. And UCLA is a top 15 defense as well. So this game is going to be really good to watch. I'm pretty excited to watch it. I'm going to go with the home pups here at plus five and a half. The last time that these two teams played was in early January and the Trojans lost by two. So I think that they're going to be looking for some revenge. I think this spread's just too big. So give me the Trojans plus five and a half. Home dog. I like it, Trey. Um, tonight I'm going with Denver versus Oral Roberts. Some Summit League action. I'm taking the over 156 and a half in this game. Big number for these teams to cover, but I'm not scared at all by the big number. Uh, for Orr Roberts, they have losses to St. Mary's, Houston, and Utah State all early in the year. Those teams are leaps and bounds better than the Golden Eagles. Two of those teams are top ten in the nation on defense. The other loss was to New Mexico five games ago, losing by seven. Orr Roberts in conference has an 8-0 record, and at home they are at 11-0 on the year. They have the seventh best scoring offense in the nation, scoring 84.2 points per game, playing in the Summit League. Uh, they are led by Max Admus, uh, who scores 22.1 points per game. Oral Roberts simply outscores opponents. They are ranked 261st, however, in scoring defense and allows 72.1 points per game, bad defensively. Now for Denver, they rank 327th in the nation in total points allowed with 75 and a half allowed per game, bad defensively, not a good recipe against the seventh best scoring offense on the road. They do have a solid offense, scoring 74.5 points per game, good enough for 127th in the nation. Uh, as a team, they have four players scoring double-digit points and crash to the glass just as well as Oral Roberts. The line is too high, in my opinion, for Oral Roberts uh, in Denver, and Denver's going to have no problem scoring against a weak Oral Roberts defense. I want the over in this game and Denver, as I think they will cover the number. It's too high for, uh, for Oral Roberts, but the one pick will be the over for me on YouTube, so I think it's a safer bet. So I'm going to go over 156.5 points, uh, Oral Roberts versus Denver. Teets? 
So I, I had my fun with some uh, mid-tier college teams. I'm kind of stepping back into some Power 5. I'm looking at Michigan versus Purdue. Purdue's on the road that's going to be traveling to Michigan. Uh, and the spread is plus 5.5 for Michigan. Um, you know, Purdue's the new number one. Houston got dethroned by Temple a few days ago, which, you know, sorry about that. Um, six straight wins. uh for Purdue since they lost 65-64 against Rutgers. Uh, Zach Eady is an absolute man. 21 points, 13 boards. He is a walking bucket, and he also is a black hole in the paint. So he is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Hunter Dickinson, you know, when he's on, he's essentially just like a poor man Zach Eady, you know, 18 points, nine boards a game. They I mean, These two teams really, they have a lot of similarities. Um uh, Purdue allows 59.8 points per game. Michigan only allows 69.5. So there's a big difference, 10-point discrepancy for defense. Uh, but both teams offensively average about 20, 74 points per game. And both teams rebound really well. Michigan gets about 37 boards a game, and Purdue gets about 40. Um, I feel like this is a trap game. Purdue going into Ann Arbor to play Michigan uh, as the new number one team, only with a five-and-a-half-point spread. Michigan hasn't been the best team this year that they have been in the past. I think that Jawan Howard is going to have them ready to run through a wall. And I think that Michigan is going to come out really spicy against this Purdue team. And I'm taking Michigan plus five and a half. I love the pick. He, he was, he was debating and he said he was going to let it go at the end of this video. So I'm glad, glad you chose a side went with your gut piece. I like that pick, but <laughs> that'll do it guys for our college basketball picks and predictions for January 26th slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.